Oh, right, gonna show more corrupt fruit from this wicked charismatic movement. This time, once again, it's from Bethel Church, the charismatic cult known as Bethel Church. And this time, they're becoming all money hungry and actually charging $20 a month to access sermons, testimony, and worship. This is from uh, Protestia.com. They have a lot of good articles exposing the wicked uh, charismatic cult out there, the devil-possessed charismatic movement out there. And this time, you got Bethel Church making money, making mer trying to make merchandise off what they believe is the word of God. Now, obviously, they don't, they don't preach the word of God. They preach their demonic, charismatic, false gifts and, and counterfeit gifts. But they think they're preaching the word of God. So let's just say that around that premise. So it says, Bethel TV has a lot on the go, and we've certainly written a lot about it. We've offered an inside peek into Bethel's demonic fountain of youth fire tunnels, express our disbelief after Bethel prophet reveals miracle of second virginity, uh, hundreds of hymens grow back, Frowned upon the terrible theology after Bethel leader Bill Johnson denies scripture, God doesn't control everything, and then express our dismay that they are working towards a hundred million dollar apostolic training center. In the latter, that money has to come from somewhere, and one avenue of mammon making is access to their premium church service offerings, Bethel TV. Now, what does the Bible say about this? I'm going to cover some scripture in a moment, but they're making money off, off what they believe is the word of God. They're making merchandise off the word of God. You know, Jesus Christ flipped over the tables in the temple because they made God's house into a house of, mer uh, into a house of merchandise in John chapter 2. Now, obviously, Bethel Church is not God's house. It's a house full of devils. A house full of devil-possessed charismatics. But let's just say that around that premise, okay? We'll just use the premise that it, it was God's house, okay? Let's just use that premise. Bethel TV has the same functions as Infinity, Spectrum, DirecTV, or Dish, whereas they do provide a free basic service, nearly, nearly, namely their TV weekly services for that week. Anything else the church does, people need to pay for it. And it's not just inside consumers, but members of the church as well. So you actually have to pay money to listen to their sermons. Uh, what does the Bible say about this? Let's go to the scriptures, see what the Word of God says about this. Proverbs chapter 23, verse number 23. Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. You're not supposed to sell the truth. Buy the truth and sell it not. But there's, they're claiming they have the truth and they're trying to sell it. Well, how do you do that with Proverbs 23, verse 23? Buy the truth and sell it not. They are violating the word of God. But of course, their charismatic traditions overthrow the word of God, just like any uh, charismatic would do. But this is the so the yeah, plan, the, the monthly plans they have. So you got free, then you got the premium monthly, $20 a month. And then includes all these different services and testimonies and, and other types of videos. So it says, whereas the free monthly plan only offers live stream access to Sunday services, the previous week Sunday service, live access to midweek service when streamed, the paid plans have more to offer. Live monthly Friday night services when streamed, over a decade of sermon archives library, over a decade of worship archives library, library of testimonies, library of interviews, noteworthy library of select BSSM class, classes, pay an extra $10, you get anything included in free and basic, some live and demand main Bethel conferences, over a decade of Bethel conferences and events library, library classes, Bethel, Bethel TV originals, group enrollment option for premium monthly subscribers. Once you sign up for a premium monthly account, you can add users under your account for settings for $10 a month. So this is how they're making merchandise off what they think is the word of God, plain and simple. But what the charismatics do, they need money, so that they're money hungry. Uh, if you pay your plan yearly, something comes up and you need to cancel, then you, like a cell phone company, you will have to access your account until the and, until your next bill date. Sadly, the Christian church does not pro, uh, protrait or refund canceled annual subscriptions. For their part, Bethel Church explains why they charge money, noting in the FAQ, quote, in the church bookstore, people might decide to pay 10 years worth of DVD sets, books, and CDs and other resources, premium plans are charging on-demand access to the archive, uh, which is comparable to purchasing DVDs. Premium plans also include videos that have a cost associated with the online version of this offline version of the same content. For example, conference tickets cost money offline, so the online version is contained within a premium subscription. The subscription costs over 
cost cover the operating cost of Bethel TV or go directly to support the mission of Bethel Church to spread the message of the kingdom and equip revivalists around the world. Well, the, the message, the, the kingdom message that they're spreading is the kingdom of this world, Satan's kingdom in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. He's the God of this world. They're not preaching the, the kingdom of God, salvation through Jesus Christ. They're preaching the charismatic false gifts and, and false anointing over the gospel. Continuing, this is a strange reasoning when we consider that it applies to congregants too, of which Bethel has nearly 12,000. If one is a longtime church member who has faithfully given thousands of dollars uh, of year, thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars of years to his church, and he wants to access a back catalog of sermons to hear one from a few months ago, or to access uh, particularly uh, poignant a powerful testimony from earlier this week, he needs to cough up a coin. This is despite the fact that we has already supported these things with his tithes and offerings, making them possible in the first place uh, with his faithful support, and more importantly, beca because it's supposedly a church. This is because Bethel is a business, and their annual report is showing how much this is true. Theor, their merchandise store is massive and has everything from Bethel everything Bethel branded you can imagine from free from books fleece hoodies drinkware posters at Bethel at Bethel sermons at Bethel sermon at Bethel the sermon is free but they can add extras to upsell you a bit as you head down the cash register altar then wouldn't they why wouldn't they so anyway the point is that Bethel Church they're actually a bit they're not a church they're a business and they're trying to make money and merchandise off God's word just like most of these charismatic false prophets do this is the fruit of this charismatic movement the love of money one last final scripture I want to cover first Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 what does the Bible say about this this love and obsession with money first Timothy chapter 6 verse 10 for the love of money is the root of all evil while some, while, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. First Timothy chapter six verse ten: Love of money is the root of all evil, and this charismatic movement is full of evil and love of money. Plain and simple. So don't be deceived by this wicked, demonic, charismatic movement. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.